Ever have this happen to you? You enter a darkened room, you turn on the light by the door, you walk to the other side of the room to turn that light on, now you have to walk back to the door to turn that light off. Well, introducing the product concept Auto Fade Table Lamp. It sits on a table and it uses batteries. But wait, there's more. It even sits on a table in the dark. Then if you press the top like so, a light comes on. So what's the big deal? After a few seconds, the light will automatically fade off. This means that you can turn it on, walk to the other side of the room and turn that light on, and the auto fade table lamp will automatically fade off, saving you the trouble of walking back to the door. Here's the test circuit schematic behind this electronic sorcery. We're going to use a light emitting diode of the red persuasion. It'll be powered by a pair of AA batteries. There's a push button to turn on, a resistor to limit current, a transistor to act as the actual switch in the circuit. A capacitor will retain voltage, and then there's another resistor to drain voltage. So here's how it works in practice. Normally the LED is unlighted because current can't flow through the transistor. When the button is pressed, current flows to the transistor base and that allows current to flow through the LED through the transistor to ground. When the button is released, current continues to flow from the charge capacitor into the transistor base keeping the LED on until the capacitor drains. Here's a breadboard version of the circuit. The battery pack is on the right. Now let's see how long the capacitor can keep the transistor and LED going after the button is released. Yay. Go ahead and short the capacitor. I want the other side. Oh. So what do you know? You can have a box that sits on a table in the dark, comes on with a touch, and then shuts off by itself. I don't know if there's a market for this other than me, but there's the concept. Please visit my blog at engineerzero.wordpress.com and thanks for watching.